welcome to the graduation of Cherry Hill High School East class of 2023. At this time, I would the audience please stand and remove your hats as Lucas Tang reads, leads us in the Pledge of Allegiance and remain standing for the National Anthem. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I would like to introduce Kieran Mutathil for her opening speech. I don't remember a lot from kindergarten, but one of my few memories from my kindergarten class was when one of my classmates asked, what's that poster on the outside of our classroom door mean? Our teacher informed us that the 2023 poster on the outside of our classroom door meant that we, as kindergartners, were part of the class of 2023, a title that seemed quite grand to my six-year-old self. After all, I was still attempting to cope with the transition from 2010 to 2011 and failing miserably to write the date correctly on any of my papers. For someone who couldn't count past 100, 2023 seemed infinitely far away to me. And yet, seemingly moments after sitting crisscross applesauce on the reading rug in my kindergarten classroom, here I am in the year 2023 delivering the opening speech at my high school graduation. My denim overalls and pigtails may have been replaced by a graduation robe and a funny looking hat, but in many ways I still feel like that six-year-old girl who was trying to remember to write 2011 on her papers instead of 2010. It's hard to fully comprehend the fact that today we will be walking across the stage to receive our high school diplomas because, as evidenced by my kindergarten struggles, adapting to change is perpetually difficult. However, I would like to remind you all that we have been faced with countless changes in these past four years that we previously thought to be insurmountable. Whether it be transitioning to school without lockers, waking up a half hour earlier, or having practices on Saturdays, we've taken each change in stride, ready to face the next one. As we face the looming age of adulthood, the fear of change and anxiety about the future are persistent. But I'm here to remind you all of two very important things. First, live in the moment because there's no sense in wasting today worrying about tomorrow. And secondly, remember that change isn't always a bad thing. After looking at some of our freshman yearbook pictures, I can safely say that the vast majority of us have changed for the better, and I'm sure you'd all agree with me. As we depart for the last time today at the end of this ceremony, I want you all to remember that a plethora of beautiful and endless change lies ahead of you. And rather than be daunted by the future, I encourage you to embrace the present with the enthusiasm and wonder of a kindergartner. As Master Ugwe once said, yesterday is history, tomorrow is a mystery, but today is a gift. 
That is why it is called the present. Thank you and congratulations. Thank you, Karen. This time I'd like to introduce to you our platform guests. First, the members of our Board of Education and then our Central Administration office staff. We ask that you please hold your applause until all members have been introduced. The board members. Miriam Stern, President. Joel Mayer, Vice President. Corian Elmore Stratton, Jennifer Fleischer, Kimberly Gallagher, Adam Greenbaum, Dr. Benjamin Rood, Sally Tong, Gina Winters, and former Board of Education member Rosie Arroyo. Also, we have our Student Board of Education representatives. We have Aiden Rood and Vivian Rong. Our Central Administration and School staff. We have Dr. Joseph Malash, the Superintendent of Cherry Hill Public Schools. Dr. Farah Mahan, Assistant Superintendent. Dr. Kwame Morton, Assistant Superintendent. Lynn Sugars, Assistant Superintendent for Business and Board Secretary. Lucoya Weathington, Assistant Superintendent. Caitlin Mallory, Director of Special Education. Mark Wisely, Supervisor of Special Education. And our administrators and staff, Lauren Giordano, the Principal of the Alternative High School. Mike Mancinelli, the Senior Class Advisor, and Susan Melgrana, also Senior Class Advisor. By your applause, now let's show our appreciation for their presence at the ceremony and for their service and dedication to our students. I would like to now introduce to you Dr. Covington, Principal of the graduating class, Dr. Covington. Good morning, East. I would like to introduce our representatives of the building and the class. Again, please hold your applause until all representatives have been introduced. Senior class officers, Sid Pejavera, Casey Dang, Grant Yoon, Abby Yu. Senior SGA officers, Christopher Shin, Gina Liu. Valedictorians, Akshay Adnan, Vox Chang, Jazz Chang, Vainayche Chidraur, Joel Kang, Eric Lee, Sean Lee, Gina Liu, Christopher Shin, Brianna Swartz, Sabria Yilmaz, Grant Yoon, Alina Zhang, Ranking Scholars, Madeline Goldstein, Sarah Greenspun, Jamin Nam, Madeline Poroski, Sid Pejavera, June Shin, Brian Zhao. Our honored readers, Emily Rose Facchetti, Nat Nataline Finkelstein, Sophie Height, Maya Hemo, Vanessa Koku, Christopher Korneyev, Angelina Lee, Asha Mysuria, Sean Murphy, Evan Pfeifenberger, Elizabeth Summerling, Max Swarbrick, Alexander Tanaka, 
Lily Thomas, Carlotta Vincelli, our honored speakers, Lucas Tang, Kieran Mudithiel, Shyla Murray, Sophie Newarth. At this time, I would like to take a special moment to ask our faculty members to please stand. These men and women who have chosen to join us today in honoring our graduates, they are the people responsible for preparing our children for this very moment. Among our faculty are some retiring staff. Mrs. Emily Kajigas, Mr. William Kovnat, Mr. William Lee Troutman, and Mrs. Shia Walton. By your applause, let's recognize these folks. Thank you. Next, I would like to introduce Christopher Shin, the president of the student government, followed by Siddharth Pechabera, senior class president, both of whom will address us. Good morning, family, friends, faculty, and the Cherry Hill East class of 2023. Welcome to graduation, the ultimate cure to your crippling senioritis. As you may know, my name is Chris Shin, your school-wide SGA student body president. It's truly been an honor serving you all for the past year. Man, time sure does fly by. It seems like just yesterday when I dabbed in my eighth grade graduation speech at Rosa. God forgive. Four years flew by just like that. And look at us now, all in our red and white graduating Cougars. Although some of us may have over 60 missing assignments left on Google Classroom, we've made it to the end. Serving as your student body president has been quite the journey from leading HOKO, hot chocolate, bingo week, and um, leading a walkout. It's been pretty crazy. Um, today, I want to share the life-changing lessons that I've learned as the school's leader. So, lesson number one that I've learned. Never underestimate the power of coffee. As we go off to college, you'll soon realize, if you haven't already, that each morning, your day starts off with a crucial decision, whether to have one cup of coffee or 12. Remember, a well-caffeinated leader is only a mildly sane leader. Starbucks, you better pay me a lot for this. Lesson number two. People truly care what you have to say. As you sit in front of me, carelessly ignoring every word that I say, I reassure you, your voice, the student voice, it truly matters. But for real though, don't stay on the sidelines. Be the advocate for your own beliefs and also for those around you. Lesson number three that I'd like to share with you. People always say, don't be egotistical. Life's not all about you. They say this all the time, right? Well, let's face it. Your life is all about you. Embrace your identity love who you are, live the life that you want to live. Be egotistical. Do what you want to do. Make initiatives you want to make. Talk to who you want to talk to. Date who you want to date. Eat when you want to live. Eat. And live the life that ultimately you strive to live. Lesson number four that I like to share. Passion drives everything. Sometimes being a leader means pretending to know what you're doing even when you have absolutely no clue. As long as you have the passion and drive in your heart, just keep blazing on. Seriously, people tell you stay organized, just plan ahead, blah, blah, blah. You hear this all the time. No, just love what you do, vibe through life, and you'll be fine. The fifth and final lesson 
that I've learned that has changed my life. Life is full of ups and plenty of downs. Even the most successful person that you can think of has faced more adversity than success. I know it may surprise many of you, but my stack of wait lists and rejection letters from programs and scholarships is much higher than my acceptances. Let's face it. The next four years in college, you'll stumble, you'll fail, you'll fall to the ground, you'll go through your hardships and challenges. But I believe that it's up to us to use those failures as the fuel for our hearts to strive on towards our successes. See, after two years and after four years in SGA and plenty of expired Starbucks gift cards, I believe these lessons have truly changed my life. As we throw up our caps and step foot out into the new world, let's not take life too seriously. Embrace the fun sides of life, laugh at the absurdities of it all, and enjoy every moment. Let's find joy every day and live with no regrets. Let's strive towards happiness. Man, I can't wait to see the Cherry Hill East class of 2023 quite literally take over the world in a matter of years. Whatever school colors you take on, whatever strange mascots that you decide to embrace, wherever in the world you all step foot in next September, let's remember, our home and our family is here at Cherry Hill East. Thank you all. Congratulations to the class of 2023. Christian signing off. I really got to follow that man right there. That's, that's crazy. All right, well, let's, let's do this. <clears throat> Dear educators, graduates, families, and attendees. What's up, guys? We're really graduating, man. It's crazy. Remember Spirit Week? That was cool. No, but really, we had a lot of great times as a class this year. Our class faced some of the most difficult obstacles throughout our four years at East. However, we all stand here today with memories that will last a lifetime. And well, what are these memories? We started off the year with our senior sunrise where everyone got to share a nice hot, cup of hot chocolate and recount our summers. That was followed by a crazy spirit week where as bachelors and bachelorettes, we finally rose to the top to get our first win. Alongside these events, we had a fantastic homecoming, a great blood drive, and an amazing prom to cap off a great year. These don't even include the amazing memories we made with our friends outside of school. So, what happens now? What do we do with these memories? It's very easy to brush off these memories as a part of the past. We often did that after each year. But I feel these memories really teach us that we have to live out every moment. You might never get to mess around in physics again or dap up that one friend you see in Seawing every day. So it's important to cherish every experience we have with family, friends, and others. These people made us who we are today. I can gladly say that it's been an honor to work and go to school alongside all of you in the class of 2023. You have all achieved great things because of your hard work and dedication to what you do. But more importantly, your passion and your care is what truly makes this class special. This has been an environment which has not only helped us prosper, but future classes as well. Philosopher, poet, mathematician, artist, and principal, Dr. Perry, once said, make it a great day or not, the choice is yours. And as we tried our best to live out this motto during our high school career, this also applies to our future endeavors. Graduates, we have the capabilities of making our future great, and we definitely have the potential of doing so. 
So I ask you to cherish every moment you have and truly live life to the fullest. I have no doubt that all of you can do amazing things. So like I said before, we're really graduating. It's crazy. Way to go, guys. Remember to stay relaxed. It has truly been a ride. Thank you so much. This year we have 13 valedictorians. By selection, Eric Lee will deliver the valedictorian address. Please know that all valedictorians were invited to write an address and that you will find them in the commencement booklet. Please welcome Eric Lee. Good afternoon, everyone. Life can only be lived forwards, but can only be understood looking backwards. When you first walked through the Sea Wing intersection, maybe you didn't expect yourself to be who you are today. Maybe you made some decisions that didn't seem too promising back then, taking a new class, trying a new sport, or exploring a new passion. But looking back four years later, perhaps they were some of the best decisions you've made and you wouldn't be who you are today without them. And whether we expected ourselves to be who we are now or not, we are surrounded by friends who were once strangers and are confident in starting the next chapter of our lives. The Russian author Dostoevsky once wrote that there is nothing better for the future than a good memory. I'm certain that all of us have built many great memories throughout our time here. It is worthwhile to think about why this is so. And when we do, we will appreciate that we've made it here today, not just because of ourselves, but because of the efforts of many people. We're here because of our parents and their endless sacrifices and unconditional love from day one. We're here because of our math teacher, who hosted review sessions at 6.45 a.m. and our computer science teacher who gave us profound and practical tips on how to be successful during the first day of class. We're also here because of our friends who made our days unforgettable with a handshake in the hallways or a quick game of poker. And most importantly, we're all here today because of the dedication that each of us has demonstrated throughout these four years. So, to our parents, families, teachers, and friends, we couldn't have done it without you. Tomorrow, we will enter a new stage in our journeys. As we begin again at this crossroads, we have the unique opportunity to define and redefine our goals. The most common goal people have is to become successful. And while it's great to be successful, the fulfillment and happiness we gain from our accomplishments is only temporary. A week, month, or a year after you achieve something, the initial excitement will fade and disappear. So the best way to find the meaning that sustains you and the happiness that fulfills you is to aim for something permanent. And there's no better way to do that than to make the right choices about who you want to become. Will you compare yourself to who someone else is today, or will you compare yourself to who you were yesterday? Will you take pride in the talents you were born with, or will you take pride in your choices? When life gets tough, as it will from time to time, will you surrender, or will you become the leader whom others can depend on? Once you answer the hard questions about who you want to become, deciding what you wish to achieve will be relatively easy, and you will naturally earn success along your journey of developing your character. 
Another goal people have is to change the world. The best way to change the world is to change yourself. It's estimated that you will meet 10,000 people across your lifetime. Every time you improve yourself, your interactions with these 10,000 people will be a little bit better than they were before. And each of these 10,000 people have their own network of another 10,000 people. So by just changing yourself through the power of compound interest, you have helped 100 million people and possibly more live life more fully. That is no small accomplishment. Last month, I received a birthday card from my parents. Printed on the back of the card are the lyrics to Forever Young by Bob Dylan. As I conclude, I'd like to share these lyrics and extend my final wishes to you as we each begin anew tomorrow. May you grow up to be righteous. May you grow up to be true. May you always know the truth and see the lights surrounding you. May you always be courageous, stand upright, and be strong. May your wishes all come true, and may you stay forever young. Congratulations, class of 2023. Thank you all very much. Before I begin my remarks, I want to give a big shout out to my Cafeteria 2 crew. Lunches were never, never dull, and I appreciate getting to know all of you. As we stand at the precipice of a new chapter, let us not forget that life is not solely defined by accomplishments and achievements. It is the moments that we take to savor life's simple pleasures that truly make our existence worthwhile. It's the laughter shared with friends, the sunsets that leave us breathless, the moments of kindness that touch our hearts, and the memories that we create that shape who we are. In the pursuit of our dreams and ambitions, it is very easy to get caught up in the fast-paced world around us. We become engrossed in building, building our resumes, setting lofty goals, and striving for success. And while ambition is essential, let us not overlook the importance of finding balance. Take the time to pause, to cherish the relationships that have shaped us, to create the beauty, appreciate the beauty of the world around us and to engage to the activities that ignite our passion. Embrace spontaneity, travel to new places, and immerse ourselves in different cultures. Seek out new experiences, explore your interests, and push yourselves outside of your comfort zones. Don't let the fear of failure deter you from taking risks and embracing the unknown. Graduation is not just an end, it is the beginning of a new chapter. It is an opportunity to embark on a journey of self-discovery, personal growth, and making a difference in the world. But remember, life is not a race to be won, but a journey to be savored. It is with great deal of respect and honor to announce the names of our class who have been elected to join our nation's armed services. Josiah Barlow, Army. Madison Carr, Army. Christopher Gibbon, Army. Trevor Gonzalez, Army. Jaden Rolden, Army. New Jersey is a cadre of states that award students a seal of bioliteracy. 
The seal of biliteracy is intended to be easily recognizable to prospective employers and universities and signifies those students who have received this honor are students who have demonstrated that they are able to speak, read, listen, and write in two or more languages at a high level of proficiency. This year, the class of 2023 has 109 students who are denoted in this graduation program. Will those students please rise and receive the seal of biliteracy and be recognized? The AAP Capstone Honor is granted to students who earn scores of a three or higher in AP Seminar and AP Research, while in addition to four other AP exams of their choosing. This year's recipient is Julia Chan. <laughs> Memorial scholarships are given to in the name of students, teachers, administrators, Board of Education members who have served Cherry Hill and the East community. The Memorial Scholarships recognize students who have served High School East and have demonstrated care for others, service to the school, excellence in academics, sports, or extracurricular activities. I would like to ask Ms. Susan Melagrana and Mr. Mike Mancinelli to join me and assist in announcing the Memorial Scholarships. Please stand if your name is called and please hold your applause until the end. The John Adler Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Sean Murphy. The John Royce Agner Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Brooke Warren. The Ravi Bloom Scholarships are awarded to Brielle Lamp and Akriti Mishra. The Student Government Association of Cherry Hill East Memorial Scholarship in memory of Marty Callista is awarded to Grant Yoon. The Joseph A. Capella Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Casey Dang. The Felice Voss Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Lucas Tang. The Ronald Kaufman Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Brooke Warren. The Flora Malamut Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Sarah Lossy and Sean Murphy. The Kelly's Kindness Scholarship in honor of Kelly McNiff is awarded to Evan Pennock. The Daniel Jack Mellaby Class of 2011 Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Jack Janicki. The Charles J. Musumeki Scholarship Award, affectionately known as the Moose Scholarship, is given to Anthony Teresi and Angelina Wang. The Todd Rasner Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Christiana Sims. The Leonard A. Terranova Jr. Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Madeline Reddy. The Sally Whitting Art Scholarship is awarded to Lee Bloom. The Michael Anthony Dapalone Scholarship is awarded to Brianna Swartz. At this time, would all senior members of the, of the choir please move to your places. Thank you. 
We have had the pleasure of advising the class of 2023 over the last four years with Smaldor. Together, as a class, we have shown our spirit in the spring, playing Jumanji, visiting the Magic Kingdom, and as contestants in Bachelor Nation. We have danced our way in a cafeteria glow party, outside on the Vegas Strip, heading for a gold rush, and finally on cloud nine. These events have helped us get together through good times and bad, but have led us to this final event, graduation. In the styles of our advisors, Dr. Perry, Dr. Malash, we are going to spend our final minute giving words of wisdom for the future. So here we go. Hello, we are inside the Leah Chorus Center. We are here with the graduating class of 2023 from Cherry Hill High School East. We want to share our final minute giving our last words of wisdom to you all. Number one, choose to be where you are. Mobile devices constantly tempt us to check out of where we are mentally. Manage this urge. Discipline yourself to be where you are and engage with the people in your midst. Choose your friends wisely. Love everyone, but spend the majority of your time with people who encourage and challenge you to be your best. Character influences character, both good and bad. Choose to be intentional with personal development. Find good mentors, like us. <laughs> Seek honest feedback, read good books, and guard your heart. Your intake always affects your output. Choose to pursue your best over the best. The best is about external comparisons. Your best is about personal composition. Focus on maximizing the gifts you have been given. Choose to embrace struggles. Pruning is painful, but it's been a proven path to healthy growth for many of the world's greatest leaders. Every trial you face is an opportunity for growth. Choose to embrace your role in leadership. Leadership begins with influence from words, attitudes, and behaviors, all three of which you choose. Choose wisely. Use your influence for the good of others, not just for yourself. Choose to take responsibility. Don't play the blame game. When issues arise around you, search within first to find how you've contributed to the problem, then own it and move on. Choose to leave things better than where you were when you found them. This applies to any job, to anything you borrow, and to your interactions with people. Choose to exceed expectations. Don't live life to merely meet the minimum requirements. Give your best. Find the expectations and strive to exceed them. Opportunity will follow. Choose to embrace the journey. Most accomplishments accomplishments that matter in life take time and effort and require you to engage in the process. Learn to embrace delayed gratification along with this process that comes with it and your accomplishments will become much more fulfilling. And finally, choose to prioritize purpose over passions. Aspire to be great and pursue your passions but not at the expense of the people placed in your path. Relationships are the foundation of your purpose in life. Value every one of them as such. So we would like to thank you, the staff, thank you, the parents and guardians, and most of all, thank you, the students, for four great years. This, this has, has been, been a minute. minute. Oh.
time, I'd like to welcome to the microphone uh, Shiloh Murray. Shiloh. <clears throat> All right. Hello, everyone. My name is Shyla, and you and I personally might be friends, strangers, or just acquaintances. But let's consider that last word. By simple definition, an acquaintance is someone who you know and someone who knows you, but seemingly not much more than that. But I have always believed that it means far more than we give it credit. Let's think. When we first stepped into East, that social playing field from middle school was wiped clean, and we were all left with maybe a few friends and a couple hundred other strangers. And before we were fortunate enough to make what you'd call real friends, we all had to go through that awkward yet admirably candid period that I like to call social speed dating. And no matter who you are, we all remember doing this. You would do little things to find your footing in this new world, like make an offhand joke to one person, strike up a rather forced conversation with another, maybe even offer to lend a pen to someone close by for no real reason, all before settling into yourself and finding those people who really clicked with you on a deeper level. But with all four years of high school now behind us, whether you realize it or not, that is a lot of people that we've shared those many little moments with. And I really mean a lot. And the reason that I would like to credit the unsung hero that is the acquaintance in all of us is because by now you likely already know those friends of yours that you're keeping in touch with past today and past tomorrow and past the end of this summer. So seniors, think about the impact of your non-friends. Like, Think about those people who have given you those unforgettable crying laughing fits in the middle of a lesson and the slightly familiar faces you turn to laugh with. Think about those people that you've always admired from afar in one way or another, but never found the right motivation to tell them so. Think about those almost friends to whom you never finally got around to sending that wanna hang out text to. And especially, Think about the people that you were once close to over the years, but drifted away from without malice, and let the same go for your former enemies. Because in the end, here and today, the beautiful truth is that no one in this class of over 500 soon-to-be graduates is a stranger to you. Even if you take a look around at some point today, because Lord knows we all have, and we think that we see a face for the first time, we actually probably know their name, or their passions, or have at least seen the way that these people have affected the friends of your friends' other friends. These are all of the people who have, unknowingly, been making your East experience uniquely yours to remember, for better and for worse. So today we need to appreciate each other. We need to appreciate every awkward glance in the hallway and every assigned seat partner, every school dance date you never talk to again, every, fam every familiar face in the bathroom and every former teammate you encouraged, every person at the opposite end of your lunch table, and every person you have sat or stood behind next to and in front of on any occasion, and any person you can't even think of. We need to appreciate each other because we wouldn't be who we are without our friends, yes, but we also really wouldn't have become who we are without our acquaintances, and especially the way that we've been one to others over the years. We are all more connected than we could ever take the time to fully imagine. And for today, and every day that will follow, sincerely that makes us all friends. So let us appreciate that together while we can. Thank you so much, and congratulations to all of you. That was great, Shala. Thank you. The more that you learn, the easier it will be for you to learn the next thing. The more you learn, the easier it will be to learn the next thing. I lifted this line from Dr. Franson Jensen's book, The Teenage Brain. 
As a faculty this year, we conducted a book study to better understand the inner workings of the teenage brain. That's your brain. I would like to share with you today some of what we learned. We reviewed and we possibly relearned information about the brain stem and how it controls those automatic body uh, parts like our heartbeat and breathing. We gained a better understanding of what it means to be right brained or left brained. And we learned that there is no such thing as multitasking. None of us can multitask and it's not, can multitask, it's not a real thing. All of our attempts at multitasking simply dilute our attention away from each singular task. We learned about the amygdala. I find the word amygdala both uh, interesting and also very difficult to spell. I grew up in the age of phonics uh, which contributes to my difficulty in spelling this word but as you see the more I have learned the easier it was for me to learn that new thing. The amygdala is part of the brain that impacts emotion. It is one half of the developmental stage of the brain that makes a teenager a teenager. The outsized emotional outbursts that you experience, the overemphasizing of a singular moment in your life, the extreme happiness and joy that comes with a posting being liked. These reactions are all a function of the amygdala. The other half of the developmental stage of the brain occurs in the frontal lobe. The frontal lobe continues to be underdeveloped and not fully developed until we are in our mid-twenties. However, as we move ever closer to that age, the ability of our frontal lobe to function effectively increases. The frontal lobe impacts our ability to think rationally. Adults also have amygdalas. However, the difference in the reaction of an adult and a teenager to a similar situ situation stems from the functioning of the frontal lobe. The frontal lobe helps us to make those rational decisions that are certainly informed by our emotions but are not controlled by them. There is even a name for when our emotions control our thinking. It is called an amygdala hijack. So you are graduating high school. You are now young adults. Reflect on how the seventh grade you would react to a stressful situation and how you would react to the exact same situation now. The difference in your reaction is due to the development of your brain. So why did I choose to share this information with you on the day of your graduation? Is it possibly because I typed a few keywords in the chat GPT and I'm simply reading what it produced? I might be. No, it is because I wanted to leave you with a message. And that message is that your learning is not over with this graduation. It is not over with your next graduation and even then it is still not over. The more you learn, the easier it is to learn the next thing. We are biologically wired to learn and to desire to learn. The faculty this year learned about neuropathways that strengthen over time and as we continue to learn. These are like super highways that develop in our brains to help us to make connections to information that we had previously learned. We learned, in fact, you actually can teach an old dog new tricks. And that being lifelong learners is not just a desire, but instead it is our destiny. Your four years at East have been remarkable. As I have visited your classes, attended your sporting events, enjoyed your shows, and celebrated all of your accomplishments, I have often reflected on the experiences and I have been filled with gratitude. None of us knew what to expect of the school experience as we returned to our post-COVID reality. I was confident that our incredible teachers would get you through academically into the same high academic standards that we've always had at East. But I worried that the other elements and characteristics that made East East would not return. Certainly not to the same level as it was pre-COVID. And so for that I want to express my gratitude to you 
As a class, you have shown up. You have been active and you excelled in great numbers. From senior sunrise to senior sunset, the class of 2023 has remade East. And not just to a return of what we were like pre-COVID, pre but to a new and better East. An East where student voice is ever present. An East where students can express themselves and explore their interests. And an East where you gain the strong educational foundation from which you can build. Nothing that you will ever learn as you move forward will be entirely new. Everything will be connected to and built upon that which you have already learned. The more you learn, the easier it is to learn the next thing. As your principal, I want for you what your family has always wanted. I want you to move forward to be healthy and happy. I want you to laugh. Laughter is so important. But I have to tell you that not everyone feels the same way about laughter. I, I love to laugh. A loud, high, and hard laugh. Full belly laugh, that's my favorite. But I learned on a family trip recently to Hawaii that laughter, at least my kind of laughter, was not welcome there. I didn't realize that Hawaii was relatively anti-laughter. I found out almost immediately upon entering the airport. I had heard something funny and I did one of my high, loud, full belly laughs. And I was stopped by a security officer who told me that my big loud laugh was not welcome, in fact it was inappropriate. He said that in Hawaii, it's all about aloha. All right, so listen. <laughs> That, uh, I honestly added that this morning because some of the graduates asked, they said, Dr. Perry, are you going to do one of those stories where like half the people awkwardly laugh and the other half groan? And I wasn't planning on it, but I, I think it was successful. All right, so as you leave East, I hope that you know that you will always be welcome to return. You are, in fact, cougars for life. East will always be your school and your classmates will always be your East family. Like you, I will look back fondly on your time at East and all of the Cherry Hill schools that you attended. It is my hope that you move forward without regrets, but with the understanding that every interaction that you have, every occurrence is a learning opportunity. It is my hope that as you enter each phase of your life, you develop more wisdom than you had in the previous phase. I have every confidence that you were leaving High School East well prepared for whatever may come your way. Congratulations High School East, I am proud of you. Thank you, at this time I'd like to welcome our Board of Education representative, Aid Rude, to the podium. Aiden. Thank you, Dr. Perry. A graduation ceremony is one that recognizes the achievements of those who are moving on to their next chapters in life. It is my honor to recognize one such individual as Dr. Joseph Malosh is retiring as our superintendent. As the first Cherry Hill Public Schools alumnus to serve as superintendent of our school district, Dr. Malosh once graduated in a ceremony much like this one. Since then, Dr. Malosh has been an integral part of many such ceremonies, first as a teacher, then as a principal, and ultimately as superintendent. His years of service have impacted countless students, including many of those who graduate today. Dr. Malosh, thank you for your dedication to the education of our next generation. We wish you all the best in your future endeavors. Please now join me at the podium. Thank you, Aiden. It's an absolute pleasure to be here today. Ms. Stern and members of the Board of Education, 
Dr. Perry and members of the Cherry Hill High School East administration, the incredible faculty and staff who are here, parents, family members, and friends, and finally, to all of you in the sea of red and white, the High School East graduating class of 2023. As the superintendent of schools for the Cherry Hill Public School District, I am blessed to stand before you this morning to address this, the class on behalf of the district staff and the entire community of Cherry Hill. As a community, we honor and celebrate the individual success of each student, for you are individuals who have successfully demonstrated that you have the fortitude and the determination to be successful, to accept challenges head on, and to move beyond mistakes and missteps. I honestly love seeing the faces of the members of the senior class, the soon-to-be graduates of High School East. Yours are the faces of athletes and musicians, thespians and journalists, artists and advocates, faces that represent the incredibly beautiful diversity of our community that creates a unique tapestry of cultural experiences and backgrounds, religions and races woven together that makes this class your class unlike any other that has ever traveled through the halls at High School East. Today I look into your faces and I know that the path to high school graduation has not always been an easy one and one that so many of you in your cap and gown have refused to allow circumstances that have been beyond your control to define you. Rather, you have chosen to seize the moments of opportunity sitting in front of you and to move ahead. You have learned that your thoughts matter, that your perspectives matter, and that your voice matters, that you as human beings truly matter. You are our future, and we have grand expectations and a significant need for your class, for your generation, to do so much better than our generation has done. The world has changed dramatically since September 3rd of 2019, when you first entered the building to begin your freshman year. There has been tragedy and triumph, and there are those who have begun to take notice of the importance of the perspective and the voices of high school students. During your experiences at East, there has been joy and frustration as you have begun to truly figure out who you are and what you believe. Relationships have been established and ended, new connections formed, and stars have risen in competition on the courts and playing fields, in the pools and in the gyms, you have filled the auditorium with such beautiful music during our concerts and inspired performances during the plays and musicals. You have served your school community as volunteers and peer leaders, as mentors, as robotics engineers and as orators, reporters and editors, as activists and ethicists, and you have given of yourselves to the larger community, demonstrating that you understand and embrace the idea that as individuals and a community, we are responsible for one another. You have set goals and at times have failed to meet the expectations, but yet you have continued to move forward. Athletes and scholars committed and driven with hearts of cougars, young adults who are proud and strong and who have demonstrated the power that love and support have in education and in our world, and how much, how truly much, our world needs you today. The community of Cherry Hill owes you our thanks and our admiration for the foundation and the expectations that you have established for future generations of High School East students. It's not easy being a parent to a high school student. I can tell you that from firsthand experience but being a parent brings about more joy than anything else that those of us who are parents have ever experienced in our lives. Thankfully, parenting is not something that any of us takes on alone. So many families who are here today have given of themselves without thanks and without recognition and without the need for either to fulfill the needs of your class. Continue to develop your voices and to share your voices with the world, large and small. One of the most important parts of effectively sharing your voices lies in your, in a, lies in your ability to listen 
and to remember on this Juneteenth and each day forward, continue to work on being a good listener, on being an active listener, and learn from what you hear and from what you see. Know that life is not something that is done to you. Be a leader on your chosen, chosen path. Be kind. Kindness does matter. Use your words, your voice, and your abilities for good. Always remember that as you move forward beyond your high school experience, that you represent us, your families, High School East, and the Cherry Hill community. Remember all that your families have done and all that they have sacrificed, often which has gone unnoticed and unspoken about, and that brings each of you here today. Represent us with pride and honor and dignity. Represent us well as you move on to college, to the trades, to work, and to the military. And honestly, a special thank you to all of you who are joining the military. Thank you for choosing to serve. Thank you for being a part of that 1% of our country who has chosen that path. And to you, those of you who are pursuing the trades, thank you. We do not talk about, look at, or recognize enough, those of you who are going into the trades. Thank you for who you are. And for the path that you are chosen, our world needs you. And personally, selfishly, I want to thank each of you, all of you, for what you have continued to teach me and your families and your teachers every single day, that truly we are blessed with the greatest responsibility and the most incredible jobs that anyone could have. I'm extremely excited to see your smiling faces as you cross the stage this morning to receive your diploma and even more excited in the years to come to hear your voices as you change the world. Congratulations, class of 2023. <laughs> Ms. Stern, would you join me at the podium? Ms. Stern, as the superintendent of the Cherry Hill Public Schools, I present to you the Cherry Hill High School East class of 2023, and I can assure you that they have fulfilled all the requirements necessary to certify them for graduation. Okay, here we go. This is it. On behalf of the Cherry Hill Board of Education, I accept the Cherry Hill High School East Class of 2023 and authorize its commencement. Just a few more minutes. Good morning, East graduates, parents and guardians, families and friends, administrators, teachers, and staff. On behalf of the Board of Education, congratulations, you did it. The beginning of your high school experience was like no other in the history of Cherry Hill. A virtual orientation and then a mostly virtual school year. It was strange and one-dimensional. You met your new classmates and teachers online, sometimes lying in bed in your pajamas. You figured out how to play sports in a mask, play an instrument with a band over Google Classroom, do a biology lab from home, and try to pay attention in World Civ class while scrolling through Insta or playing video games. All of the normal things you expected as high schoolers were turned upside down, making friends and finding new friend groups, choosing your classes, homework, yes, homework, 
and joining clubs. It was hard, at times scary, and not often not easy. Lots and lots and lots of time on screens became the norm for school and was the way to connect the rest of the world outside of school. For many of you, that was a pretty unsatisfying way to spend most hours of your day, day after day. Four years later, you are now finishing high school with most activities coming back to normal and in person. Thank goodness. You figured out how to make that transition back to the way life used to be and should be. You now know that being in person and feeling connected to others are fundamental needs. While YouTubers and TikTokers can make us laugh, teach us a dance or life hacks like cooking, how to change a tire, or how to calm anxiety, we know life behind a screen is just not the same as in real life. Now it's time for you to start your real young adult lives. Some of you will enlist in the military. Others will begin working or starting college or career and technical training. Maybe you are not sure what your next step will be. You are probably nervous, apprehensive, excited, and eager all at the same time. All of that is right on point and you will all rise to the occasion with your newfound resiliency and skills. Whatever path take you take, you got this. So just like on YouTube and TikTok, in real life, we get likes. We have influencers and followers. They come from people around you who know you and from experiences you have every day. Take a minute and think about those influencers in your life. Take in what is around you and consider what's worth listening to and learning from and what to toss away. That is how you develop your instincts. Follow them. As you log off from your high school experience and log in to the next adventure, learn to trust your gut it will steer you in the right direction. So whether you will be living at home or going away, things will be different. The freedoms and choices of adulting can be liberating and daunting. There will be highs and lows. Wherever you go next, find resources, self-advocate, learn, lean into new friends and old ones, reach out to supportive parents, caregivers, and family. As you are becoming more independent, those people who have shown up for you and helped you get to this point will be there to advise you and support you. So take a minute and look out into the audience. Find your people. Find those adults, those individuals who had your back and will continue to do so as you move into your next steps. Give them a smile or a wave. That's what today is about, right? Your achievement today is as exciting for them as it is for you, or maybe even more so. They are your biggest fans forever. You, the class of 2023, have so much to look forward to, and everyone is so excited to see what come next, comes next in your real lives. Members of the Board of Education, please join me on stage as we sh will shortly deliver the diplomas. Gina Liu. 
Siddharth Pejavara. Vivian Rong. Eden Christopher Shin. Casey Dang. Shyla Murray. Kieran Mutithil. Sophie Newworth. Lucas Tang. Grant Yoon. Abigail Yu. Akshay Anand. Jazz Ching. Vox Ching. Vinayak Chadrawar. Joel Kang. Eric Lee. Sean Lee. Brianna Swartz. Sabria Yilmaz. Alina Zhang. Madeline Goldstein. Sarah Greenspun. Jamin Nam. Madeline Peritsky. Jian Shin. Brian Zhao. Emily Rose Facchetti. Natalie Finkelstein. Sophie Height. Maya Himo. Vanessa Sena Koku. Chris Korneyev. Angelina Lee. Asha Mysori. Sean Murphy. Evan Pfeifenberger. Elizabeth Sameling. Max Warbeck, Alexander Tanaka, Lily Thomas, Carlotta Vingeli. Giorgio Abdallah, Gloria Abdel Shahid, Daniela Abrams. Aiden Abronsky, Adam Abacedo, Andrew Aiello, Faisal Ahmed, Christian Aiken, Piana Octor, Alicia Albuquerque, Ren Alexander, Adam Ali, Adam Alamari, Carson Altamonte, Dominic Angelucci, Bianca Angelacci, J. Rafael Arado, Madison Arcaro, Karan Archie, Rami Awad, Dylan Baker, Amina Bakit, Emma Balanza, Benjamin Bannett. Bar, Josiah Barlow, Eli Barnett, Emilio Barone, Alexander Berry, Olivia Batista. <laughs> Owen Bittar, Ben Bittner, Lily Block. 
Amit Byra, Emma Bean, Omer Byra, Joe Belagamba, Jason Beleza, Elizabeth Bellot, Matthew Beleza, Aaron Beltra, Kayla Bennett Harper, Raziel Bunnan, Nathaniel Berekatab, Ariman Bardwaj, Tabitha Bicking, Madison Biddy, Allison Bildner, Evie Billet, Owen Bittar, Ben Bittner, Lily Block, Lee Bloom, Samantha Bloom, Adam Blumenthal, Abigail Boehm, Adam Borenstein, Kalia Boyd, Emily Boyle, Ryan Boyle, Maeve Braun, Catherine Bristow, Jakira Brooks, Ross Brown, Stevie Brown, Jeremy Bryan, Liam Bryant, Ashley Bavitas, Madeline Butler, Sunny Cachase, Abriella Camp, Brian Cangiano, Jose Cano Montoya, Quentin Carey, Madison Carr, Maureen Castle, Kristen Lay Castro, Francis Toby Cerro, Julia Chan, Alana Chase, AJ Chekhov, Amanda Chen, Kai Lin Chen, Siang Vivian Chen, Tiffany Chen, Victoria Chen, Wen Hao Chen, Lydia Chang, Amber Cherillion, Zachary Chabria, Michelle Soraka, AJ Chico, Yamor Chichek, Rome Sioko, Dan Cohen, Elizabeth Cohen, Devin Collins. Abigail Conti, Jennifer Cortez, Ryan Cortez, Douglas Cox, Antonia Curry, Rodrigo da Cunha Pavoa, Nicole de Guzman, Nick Deitch, Michael Dang, Chris Deshawn, Natalie Desmond, Advaith Drua, Donnie Dedenado, Emma Dimter, Maxwell Dombrowski, Paige Donahue, Jasmine Dong, Derek Duran, Jevin Dutch, Ian Dyer, Batul El Baruki, Griffin Ellis, Andrew Erlam, Garland Este, Alex Everett, Maya Ezrin, Josh Farahansi, Caitlin Fay, Colin Fang, DJ Farling, Mariella Fasnet, Emily Marie Facchetti. Claire Fernandez, Isabella Ferraccio, Megan Finnegan, Michael Fiore, Jack Flannery, Abigail Fleischman, Rachel Foley, Sophie Fleischman, Marley Fowler, Jenna Frey, Annabelle Folgenitti, Claudia Fulton, Jenna Garfinkel, Arsha Garg, Molly Garvin, Remy Genovese, Christopher Gibbon, Carmen Genesi, Jason Glassman, Ethan Goldberg, Jack Goldberg, Hannah Golden, Madeline Golden, Abigail Goldman, Trevor Gonzalez, Aaron Graham, 
Max Green, Brooke Greenberg, Jacob Greenberg, Alexander Greif. Ian Gross, Jaden Guarnieri Deza, Fiba Guntuka, Anika Gupta, Ariella Gavilli, Ethan Gora, Ellen Ha, Ethan Haddock, Sam Hamze, Kyle Handler, Hope Haney, Ayal Harose, William Hart, Alicia Hassan, Brooklyn Hawkins, Ishaw Hassan, Sasha Hay, Jason He, Ashton Halgenic, Ethan Hen, Brooke Hendricks, Monica Hang, Natalie Hernandez, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alec Herring, Sydney Hershkowitz, Justin Herskowitz, Taylor Heskin, Ricky Hess, Daniel Higginbotham, Alexander Higgins, Xavier Hillman, Elizabeth Hine. Jessica Hippel, Shivani Harada Chandran, Katie Hong, Aiden Horn, Kasith Hudson, Olivia Hung, Bryce Hunter, Joanna Kerr, Alessandra Eliano, Marvin Innes, Gavin Iocona, Christian Jameson, Jake Janicki, Oliver Jean Lewis, Eric G, Ray Jing, Seth Jones, Madison Jordan, Felicia Kakemeister, JJ Khan, Aline Kakaritze, Aaron Kang, Rumi Kanoja, Carly Kapustin, John Cariel, Elijah Kashani, Lilu Kaufman, Timothy Kenny, Erica Kerner, Jeremy Kerr. Did you get Ray J? Yeah. I gotcha. Abby Kessler, Faith Kidd, Sahoon Kim, Sean Clucho. Alexandra Concher, Ofri Corral, Jeremy Corin, Caroline Koch, Anna Kramer, Gabrielle Kramer, Layla Kramer, Jack Kramer, Samantha Krischer, Jessica Kroll, Sean Kunz, Michael Kuznias, Gabby Lacavera. Andrew Lafferty, Samuel Lai, Betty Lamb, Sojetta Lamb, Brielle Lamb, Olivia Lass, Sarah Lossi, Mishak Lavalli, Nina Lazarovici, Alexander Lazowski, Elizabeth Lee, Jasmine Lee, Samuel Lee, Julian Leibovitz, Wyatt Leopold. Darren Lerner, Bar Lachey, Talia Lerner, Sage Levy, Catherine Lee, Brian Lynn, Sophie Linden, Vanessa Grace Linker, David Liu, Jay Lynn Liu, Devin Liu, Tiffany Liu, Paige Lomas, Peter Longo, Edwin Lum, Eric Liu, Zoe Lee, Michaela Leiner, Naomi Ariel Lees, Fardine Mahmoud, Allison Mayer, David Malikor, Jonah Marcus, RJ Marsh, Sophia Messina, Rhea Mason, 
Anand Mathor, Matthew Matro, Richard Matteo, Uma Mowry, Matt McCluskey, Michael McCormick. Michael McCurdy, Raven McDaniel, Megan McHugh, Jamie McManman, Justin Madero, Leanne Mejia, Anthony Maloney, Vianne Mejia, Alexander Mendez Ramos, Morgan Miller, Isabella Mina, Natalie Menissi, Akriti Mishra, Michaela Mogel, Brian Morty, Allison Morris, Delaney Morris, Chris Mosier, Catherine Muljono, Kira Mulligan, Abigail Nahum, Lior Nahum, Andrew Neff, Anna Neubauer, Leah Newman, Andy Wynn, Elizabeth Wynn, Ni Wynn, Michal Nadam, Lucy Nolan, Nicholas Nothnagel, Nicolette Ober. Pranav Reddy Pele, Owen Ponical, Roman Ponde, Timothy Park, Haley Parkscons, Michaela Parsons, Sia Patel, Evan Pennock, Lisette Perez, Joey Perlman, Gregory Pierce, Catherine Pierlot, Rodrigo Pavoa, Emily Pober, Arlo Porter, Colin Price, Joy Pooh, Shreyas Rajashekhara, Mika Rappaport, Ava Reagan, Camden Reddick, Madeline Reddy, Chris Reed, Brandon Reeves, Ethan Riley, William Reinhardt, Daniel Wren, Grace Renshaw, Naznin Rima, Lily Revis, Jenna Rivera, Jimmy Roberts. Christian Rodriguez, Dylan Rodriguez, Faith Rodriguez, Elizabeth Rohr, Erica Rohrlach, Jaden Roldan, Gal Ron, Jessica Rosen, Miranda Rosenbaum, Allison Rosenthal, David Rounds, Audrey Ruggieri, Rebecca Sabbath, Jacob Samalka, Mo Sample, Abhishek Sanchetti, Jared Sanders, Nico Santana, Olivia Sargent, Isa Sayani, Christina Schaefer, Antonio Schwartz, Savion Scaniers, Noah Shapiro, Laura Shaughnessy, Casey Shaw, Charlie Schoen, Trey Shaw, Evangeline Shim, Zachary Shiroff, Abigail Shoha, Omer Cives. David Silver, Callie Simmons, Robbie Sims, Christiana Sims, Sophia Singer, Sophia Sidoneri, Jelena Solis, Diana Sosa, Clara Swaby, Cole Stackhouse, Josh Stapleton, Nathan Stein, Ella Sternchos, Mackenzie Stein, Joey Salage, Jack Swoboda, Aiden Sweeney, Jason Tahiri, James Tal, Francis Tapsoba, Kaylee Tavard, Cecilia Tavares, Larissa Tenaz Marquez, Lexi Tepper, Sarah Terry, Peter Tepper, Isabella Tufik, Orion Teal, Katie Thompson, Katie Timmons. 
Christopher Timpanelli, Sam Nang Ta, Alessia Torre, Anthony Teresi, Tan Tran, David Tribble, Nat Trong, Harry Turner, Arpita White Ya, Zachary Van Meter, Katrina Veltman, Max Venuti, Jacqueline Verna, Eric Viola, Melissa Vital, Jaden Vo, Luca Voigt Williams, Kaylee Voigt, Aton Volodarsky, James Vona, Jasmine Vu, Jessica Walsh, Angelina Wang, Valerie Wang, Brooke Warren, Brandon Watkins, Andrew Watson, Paige Watson, Mark Watson, Leah Wayne, Brad Weinberg, Jake Weitzman. Milan Monique Williams, Dana Willis, Lauren Winslow, Torin Wolverton, Melody Wood, Madison Woolley, Phoebe Wu, Ben Chi, Justin Yang, Yarden Yaneshkovich, Elizabeth Yap, Julia Yasinchak, James Yeager, Matt Yeary, Begum Gilmaz, Spencer Yasko, Lily Zhang, Amy Zhang, Eddie Zhang, Cody Zinn, Kelly Zolkowski, Juan Antonio Johnson. So we, before we conclude, I'd like to remind all of the parents in the audience to please meet our graduates on the concourse level. You're going to meet at the concourse level. Uh, and please remain off this floor. Graduates will pick up your diploma. You'll pick up your diploma on the concourse level in the Fox Giddies room on the Broad Street side of the facility. So you're going to be the concourse, Broad Street side. This time I'd like to introduce our closing speaker. Ms. Sophie Newworth. Sophie? Yeah. Hi. <laughs> For us seniors over the past couple months, it seems like all anyone can ever talk about are our lasts. Our last pep rally, our last spring musical, our last DECA robotics competition or our last few minutes sitting in the Leah Chorus Center while we triumphantly complete our last year of high school. But today also begins our year of firsts. For example, today is probably the first day our entire class has ever been present on a school day or at a school event. <laughs> but seriously, our senior year and our time at East as a whole is a moment in time and, like most things, it cannot last. The class of 2023 we are today is not the same class of 2023 we will be tomorrow. We will be blown out into the world like dandelion seeds, the winds carrying us to new places and experiences where we will blossom into leaders of tomorrow, using the tools we have learned at East in order to allow ourselves to grow. As you, class of 2020-23, set out on your future journeys, whether that be in college, the military, the workforce, or anything else that inspires you, I urge you to pursue endeavors that make you happy. The pursuit of happiness teaches us that the end goal of pure bliss is not the most gratifying part of the journey, but the twists and turns and the ups and downs of the pathway to get there are what makes happiness so worthwhile. Take risks, make mistakes, and if you fall, 
get up and try again. No accomplishment feels as great without hard work. We as East students know this after being able to excel in East challenging curriculum, emerge victorious in Spirit Week, and conquer seeming intersection during our freshman year. Our families, friends, and teachers inspire us to achieve greatness. And this inspiration does not have to end after we walk out of East for the final time. Keep in touch with those who ignite your flame, those who inspire you to go the extra mile in order to become your best self. We may be leaving East, but the memories we've made, friendships we've formed, and lessons we've learned here will remain with us for a lifetime. Now, class of 2023, I invite you to continue our day of first by moving your tassel from the right to the left side of your graduation cap. Congratulations, class of 2023. We made it. All right, thank you and congratulations.